if you looked at just a handful of reviews on this channel, you'll know that I enjoy the medieval ages, medieval fantasy, or anything that reminds me of it. This week we are taking a look at Be Castled, which takes place in a medieval fantasy world where you protect your people of the sun from terrors of the night. The big appeal with this game to me is the fact that the focus is purely on defense which involves building a castle to the best of your abilities. So you start off customizing your kind of game, uh, whether you want the tutorial enabled, uh, the amount of resources, map type, and also uh, the amount of neutrals on stage which are basically like wolves and stuff like that. Uh, so even though the tutorial is incomplete, I still recommend you to start with it uh, just to get a basic understanding of the game's mechanics, a uh, nice introduction to the basics and whatnot. Uh, for this one, I called my world Bobby's World because why not? So once the game is started, uh, you need to put down your keep in your main hexagon. So the map itself is divided into hexagons uh, for you to control. And to take control of another one, you can do so uh, to an adjacent uh, hexagon using uh, spending some wood that you'll get uh, from uh, collecting the resource. Uh, so speaking of wood, in uh, the next thing is that you'll have to gather some wood and the way you do that is you build a sawmill and assign workers to it uh, so the more workers uh, that you have uh, in the building the more uh, resources that you'll gain from it uh, so more workers can be gained uh, by building houses and keeping your mood high and higher mood leads to more workers moving in and inhabiting your build, uh, village and filling out those spots as quickly as possible. Uh, so the mood itself can be improved with decorations uh, as well as taverns. I mainly use taverns. Decorations kind of takes a little longer, uh, but I mainly just use taverns. And once again, you just have to assign uh, workers to the taverns and uh, be good to go. It's very simple and honestly one of the, the pluses of this game. Very simple to learn and, you know, to get into and it doesn't overcomplicate itself with too many mechanics. So outside of just wood, there are other uh, resources to uh, worry about. Uh, you have sunstones, which are needed to maintain the upkeep of your army. Uh, you have food, which is very important to feed your villagers. Uh, stone will help you to build stone buildings and other kind of buildings as well as siege engines, uh, while iron helps with upgrading and creating certain unit types. Uh, so these resources are far less common than wood, and uh, in my playthrough, uh, they're really only found in one tile. Like, each tile will have, like, maybe one of those resources. Uh, so you may go and you'll see nothing, uh, but then you'll see a pond, which you can use to uh, get fish. Uh, obviously, if you see a stone quarry, that's for stone. If you see wild animals, uh, you can build a, a hunting lodge and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so the resources itself actually don't run out and it's more based on how fast you can produce. Uh, so once you get a place uh, to make food or what have you, it's best to expand your working slot as much as possible in order to gain that resource as fast as possible because there's no penalty from uh, you know moving too fast. You won't like expel the resources or anything like that. Uh, but maybe in the future they can have a mode like that. Um, you'll also uh, eventually reach your limit in how much wood and stone you can carry at once and you'll need to build uh, warehouses and barns uh, to store your excess supplies. So again, pretty simple system and honestly works very well here. Eventually you'll get some swordsmen and the night will come. So this is uh, the theme of the game. You build up yourself during the day, gather resources and at night you fight and defend. Uh, so the first few nights are pretty easy. Uh, but it definitely does get harder in the later game. Mostly, I didn't have to worry um, too much because a lot of the night enemies were actually taken out by wolves. So it felt very <laughs> anticlimactic. Um, archers definitely come uh, after the first night and are honestly far more effective uh, for defense. Especially with my keep being located on a hill. I have the height advantage so the enemies would have to go around uh, if they would want to defeat me again early on later on they were more of a threat with uh, siege equipment um, and all that stuff so yeah eventually you'll realize that you're gonna need some walls uh, towers and even some siege equipment yourself like ballistia and trebuchets um, and they become very necessary for defense and that's because the AI will start to bring stronger units as well as their own siege equipment like I mentioned before they have rams, towers, ladders, catapults. Um, walls are very easy to put down and upgrade they basically just use the sides of the hexagon so it's very 
uh, easy to set up walls and also to create some checkpoints too, uh, which early on I really didn't do. I just had like one outer wall, but uh, as I started to expand, I started to add checkpoints in order to make it a little more complex. Uh, they pass one and honestly, my castle looked pretty good by the end of it. So uh, it, I look like a pro, but it really wasn't that hard. So the uh, towers themselves are on the corners of the walls uh, corners of the hexagons is where you put the towers they connect to the walls um, and you also need to use ramps in order to uh, get your troops uh, on top of the wall if there's no tower next to it um, and also you're gonna need this too for the issues that the AI pathfinding has but we'll get more into that later on so in order to get the better buildings you're going to need to build a library uh, to develop research points and the tech tree uh, so far is divided up to three tiers. And once you research enough text of the previous tier, you'll unlock the next tier. And then you'll need to upgrade your keep, which will allow you to upgrade buildings as well as uh, with additional uh, working slots. Uh, so walls and towers uh, can be upgraded as well once they get placed. So no need to worry about having to replace the, top, um, the wall or tower entirely. Uh, as long as you have the resource, you can just upgrade your palisades to wooden walls and then upgrade your wooden walls to stone walls and your wooden uh, towers to stone towers without having to rebuild anything. Just click on the upgrade and it's instant and it's good to go. Um, so there's honestly not a ton of text and you'll probably max it out if you really, really want to in a couple of hours. Uh, but all are very beneficial uh, to resource production and especially with defense. So before I get more into the gameplay, just want to talk about some of the presentation elements of the game. Uh, the graphics are fine. From what I can tell, it is using the Unity engine. So only so much you can do. It's better to go uh, art style stylistically uh, than try to go with fidelity when it comes to this engine. Uh, but the music itself is absolutely majestic. Really, really well done here. Um, it reminds me of some games that I've played before in the past. Uh, some of them, I get a legacy, uh, Legend of Ligaya vibe with them, uh, if anyone remembers that game. Uh, so the music in the background uh, that I have playing in, in this video is uh, from this game as I bought the soundtrack too. So it's a great listen. I definitely would recommend the soundtrack. If Even if you don't want this game, soundtrack, very good to listen to. So eventually you'll get to a point where defense starts to become pretty trivial. Um, basically with the stone walls uh towers ton of archers uh with upgraded fire arrows um and a bunch of siege weapons uh, and also the money to support it uh at this point there's really not much to do outside of that once you start defending over and over again i mean i do may they may breach one area but they're quickly defeated uh due to all the siege weapons and defenses that i have um so the game doesn't seem to end uh well First, it's like, you know, I'm just not sure what to do. Uh, so I don't know if I'm just supposed to, you know, conquer all the hexagons and put it under my territory. And the game doesn't seem to end once you do. I haven't personally tried it myself, uh, but I did read a couple reviews that mentioned it saying that there's really not much to do once you conquer all the land. Um, but to be honest, I am willing to start over again uh, with a different map and try different settings and see what kind of variation uh, I can get because... I definitely will say that is uh, one thing that needs to be uh, worked on. So yeah, this game is very solid. It's a lot of fun, but my biggest issue that I have is with the AI pathfinding. Um, early on, you don't really notice much of an issue because it's fine and manageable, uh, especially when your castle itself isn't very complex, maybe not have any walls or anything like that. Uh, but later on, it becomes a serious issue trying to move uh, from one side of your castle to the next. It was just way harder than necessary. Uh, I did find some ways to alleviate this, thankfully. Uh, one of them was to build just a ton of additional ramps and uh, click on your units to go to the ground. Therefore, they can all get off the walls and stop trying to try to get to the other side through the walls. I don't, I don't know what, what they're even trying to do, honestly. Um, the other way was to just uh, grab a handful of units at a time and then instruct them to move. Uh, honestly, it was very frustrating because it took away precious time that I had before nightfall. Um, and that time I used just moving my units uh, could have went to building and resource management. And late game two, I was starting to notice that the game was lagging on my 3060 Ti uh, with a ton of enemies on screen. So I'm hoping that could be addressed soon. If I'm having lagging with this card, I'm assuming that probably people with lower specs than mine may have some late game stutteriness. 
Um, I mean, I was going from 144 to about 65 ish, but I definitely did notice the performance drop and it would lag below that sometimes as well. So if that's my experience with this uh, card, it may be uh, worse with somebody with uh, weaker specs. But your mileage uh, may vary depending on what you have. Now, one thing I do like to talk about is the future of the game. And this part is uh, where we're going to get pretty serious. Unfortunately, I don't like to talk about real life events. Um, I like to keep my reviews away from real life. But sometimes uh, real life does affect game development, unfortunately. And some things need to be talked about. Um, so the developers are from Ukraine and are currently uh, with the war going on and everything um, are more focused on survival than uh, working on the game, which is completely, you know, understandable. That's completely what they should be doing. Um, and I'm all for it. Unfortunately, they left a ton of stuff behind, uh, including some progress that they made on the game already. So this update I found was stated back in March 17th and there hasn't really been any word on the developer since then, so I hope everything is alright. Who knows, they're probably on the run. Who knows if they even have, you know, internet access at this rate. So, the game is up in the air, it's in limbo. Maybe when things return back to normal, possibly, but at this rate, we don't know. So, um, if you're looking to invest in the future, just know that it's very bleak right now, and I'm not sure what's going to happen here. And uh, if if you don't want to buy this game just because of that, it's understandable. But just know that this is the risk going in if you do uh, decide to purchase this game. But honestly, even with uh, that, knowing that knowledge, I still would uh, definitely recommend it for what's already on offer here. Uh, the building mechanics are simple but very solid. Uh, very enjoyable seeing your castle going from a small keep to a massive fortress with stone walls, stone, uh, stone towers, a ton of stuff. I just wish uh, for more content in the future and especially improvements to the past finding of the AI. I think the latter is way more important than the former, uh, but only time will tell with the future of the game, um, as I mentioned before. But yeah, definitely uh, really enjoyed this one and I got it for $10. I think on regular price is about $15. Uh, so that's honestly pretty good. I mean, I've paid, you know, I've paid more and got way less in return. So I'm pretty happy with what I have and potential for, you know, updates whenever that comes around. So anyways, hope you guys are enjoying your day. Please like, share and subscribe as always. Thank you for watching. And this is Powerhouse signing off.